point. So like when x is negative 3, this point, to when uh, x equals 2, this point, what's the average rate of change between these two points, meaning what's the slope of that line? What we need to do, though, in order to find the slope, which remember is this formula here, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, we need to find the y values. So let's go ahead and put negative 3 in and 2 in and see what those y values are. So this will be negative 3 comma, let's see, this is 9 times 2 is 18, uh, minus 12, which is 6, minus 16 is negative 10. And if we put 2 in for x, we get 2 squared is 4, times 2 is 8, plus another 8, which is 16, minus 16 is 0. So we've got our two points now. Let's go ahead and put them into our slope formula. So this is going to be uh, negative 10 minus 0. I'm just subtracting the y values, divided by negative 3 minus 2, which equals negative 10 over negative 5, which equals 2.